Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Corinne Cooks. Today I'm going to be making a dish called Purpu e Patati Agrasati in Tavinu, which means octopus and potatoes stewed in wine. These are all of the ingredients for the octopus and potatoes stewed in wine. I halved the recipe since all I could find in the store are these baby octopi and they were pretty expensive but this is 500 grams of octopus. Luckily they came already de-beaked and cleaned so I didn't have to do much prep besides rinsing them again. And now I'm just gonna cut it up into small pieces. The next step is to mince the onion. Then I'm going to mince the parsley. And then I'm going to mince the clove of garlic. The next step is to heat some oil in a pan and then I'm going to saute the onion, parsley, and garlic until golden. Now it's time to add in the octopus and cook for three minutes. Now it's time to pour in the red wine and allow it to evaporate. I realized the recipe doesn't tell you when to put in the salt and pepper, so I'm just going to do that now. Now it's time to pour in a glass of warm water and cook for 60 minutes. And I'm supposed to add in more water in case it gets too dry during the 60 minutes. While the octopus is stewing, I am peeling the potatoes. And then I'm going to cut them into chunks. So now that it's been an hour, I'm adding in the potato chunks. And I'm also realizing I probably should have used a less wide pot so that they would be more covered by the water, but I'll probably just add more water or something. I'm also gonna add more salt and pepper since I just added the potatoes. I'm also going to chop up a little more parsley just to garnish at the end. I ended up leaving it on for an extra 10 minutes and this is the final result. It's finally time to try the octopus and potato stewed in wine. Not bad. It all feels a little more chewy than it should be, so I'm thinking that might be because of the wide pot and maybe I should just cook it more with some more water. Might do that. It's not bad though, like it's not all like super chewy. It's like, it's just that I would have preferred it to be a bit more soft, I think. Yeah, like those two pieces were really soft, so I think it's just gonna be like certain pieces 
weren't submerged enough. But other than the texture, the flavor is really good. And it is kind of just like a simple comforting dish more than you would realize, I guess, because it's octopus. I just meant because octopus isn't usually seen as a comfort food. It's definitely surprising. Don't forget to soak up the juices with some bread. Very important final step. Thank you for joining me in this adventure in making purpu e patati agrasati in tavinu, or octopus and potatoes stewed in wine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.